Hey, this is TerraToots with a quick introduction to controlling populations of 3D objects in Terragen. We'll start out with our population of trees from the previous video. Now that we have our forest, how do we control the placement of the trees? If we zoom out, you'll see that by default our population is constrained to a square bounding box. For a simple start, we can move this box around or change its size and shape. Remember that we need to repopulate every time we make a change to update the preview. Another powerful option for controlling population placement is using density shaders. With these, we can essentially use any other shader to control where object instances are placed within a population. For example, if we create a simple circular shader, we can constrain our population to a circle. Another technique is to use one of Terrigen's fractal shaders to provide some more natural variation to our object spacing. For example, we can apply a distribution shader to give our population some of the normal options we have with other shaders, such as coverage and fractal breakup. as well as altitude and slope constraints. From power fractal shaders to distance shaders, there are a lot of options here to experiment with. The final option we'll talk about today is using a painted shader, which we'll cover in more depth in another tutorial. Next to the density shader box, click create new shader, color shader, painted shader, now that our shader is created, we can paint with it by clicking the little paintbrush icon above the 3D preview. We start painting shader and select the shader that we just created. The default brush size is a little large, so let's go ahead and bring that down a little bit. Then we can begin painting with our shader. Now we can repopulate and watch as our forest now follows our brush strokes. This can be very helpful when you want your population in a very specific area. Zoom in a little bit here. We can bring that into the ray trace preview to get a better idea of how this is looking for us. Now, of course, we can control the population at an even more granular level if desired. In the next video, we'll cover editing individual objects within a population.